care of you and today i'm just going to do a quick video on there uh, i'm going to make a power app which we just have signature functionality so i'm not going to build a form this is just going to be focused just on getting the signature functionality uh, so we'll run the app the user can sign that signature functionality and then what we'll do is we'll take that signature and we'll use power automate flow to create a sharepoint list item and then attach that signature as an image into that list item so First things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new SharePoint list here. I'll just call this blank list and I'll just call this capture. Okay, and then we can just leave that as just the one title field where we're just going to have a piece of text and then we're going to create that piece of text and attach the signature into it. So next I'm going to come over to Power Automate Flow uh, and if you create a new flow, so we want to do an instant cloud flow and we want to come from power apps. Let's call this one signature capture. Okay, so first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to create, so because we're using the power apps trigger, when the signature is signed in the app, we're going to pass that into this flow. And then first things first, what we want to do is we want to create the list item that we're going to attach it to. So create item. The list, I'm just going to go to my site where I had that, and then I'm going to find that SharePoint list, so signature capture, and that's that. And then what I'm going to do is in the title field, I'll just put test. Okay. So then the next thing, what we're going to do is we are going to use an add attachment step. And then again, I'm going to find the list that I created. So the signature capture list. Uh, and then in the ID field, we're just going to use the ID that we capture from this create item. So it still looks up that same item. And then what we're going to do is for the file name. Again, we could just call this test for now, but we want to do .jpg. So Setting the file name is actually yeah, turn, so we, we put the file name and that sets the format to be an image. First things first is we need to, while we're in this file content here, if you can scroll down in your dynamic contents and scroll to the very bottom and select this here, so asking power apps. So what that's going to do is that's going to create this variable, uh, which is add attachment file content. Now what we then want to do is we want to We want to add an expression here. So it is base 64, base 64 to binary. And then open your brackets. And then what we want to include in here is if you click back onto dynamic content, and then you can scroll down and click this add attachment file content. So that will add that variable into this base 64 to binary. Correct. Okay, perfect. So now what you want to do is if you want to just X that so it removes that variable and now click OK, that will add this here. So that's basically taking that variable. So now when we go back into Power Apps, when the Power Apps triggers the flow, it knows that it needs to pass a variable in. That's going to pass in the signature. And then that's what we then create in this file content here. Now it's quite confusing because we do have to keep converting that. And you'll see again in Power Apps, we have to convert that as well. But now this is done for the flow. So this flow is ready. Now all we need to do is go to the Power App. And I'm going to create a blank app. And I'll just create a blank canvas app. And call this Capture Signature. Okay. And then I'm just going to insert Pen Input. Like so, okay, so we've inserted our pen and put here. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to insert a button. Now, again, I'm not going to be focusing on any design here. This is literally just to get the signature from the Power App and into your SharePoint list as an attachment. So what we're going to do here is, as, as I said before, I'm going to put all of this code into the description of the video. But first things first, what we need to do is uh, if you select 
you select on the button so on the on select property we click action and then you can see this but next we want to add the power automate flow to the app so if you come up to this action along the top and then select power automate here you'll see this panel pop up on the left if you can click on add flow and we want to find that flow that we had before which was called signature capture so i have now added that and then that'll add this flow into the app so what we want to do is we're going to go back to this button on select and this is where we're going to add all the code so first things first we want to set a variable so if we type in set rg sun and the next row we want to do json open bracket pen input one so that's the pen input that we've added to the screen there pen input one and we want to put dot image so as I said, I will uh, include all of this into the close your brackets there. And we want to come down again, close it up there. So basically we are setting this variable with the JSON of this image. Next we want to set another variable. Set the same variable in fact to our JSON again. And then we're using another function called mid. And then next level Now, I know this is slightly confusing because we're literally setting the variable and then we're resetting the variable again. But as I sort of explained, this is to reformat the um, the data. So we're taking that image, we're breaking it down, we're passing it in as a variable to the Power Automate flow. And then as I sort of said before, in that flow, we then make that data change as well. So we're pulling it back to an image and then we can add that as an attachment. So now both of those are complete. We just need to do one more. We just need to do one more function and that is running that power automate flow so if i now start typing signature capture dot run so this is what will pop up here so signature capture dot run and then as you can see here in the run we've got to pass in one uh, variable to the power automate flow which is what we asked for which is the file content so basically all we need to pass in into here is that that var json variable so now when i close the bracket that should be done so that should be everything done um, so next what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run it. Hopefully this will work first time. I'll just draw a little smiley face in here. Let's see if this works. So now I'm going to click the button to submit. And we will now check the flow to see if that works. So let me come into here. So you can see I've, I've already run for some tests before. Uh, okay, so seven seconds ago. So that's just run there. So now if I go to our SharePoint list here, you can see the new record created. If I click that, you can see there's an attachment. Now when I click that there, you can see me smiley faces come through. So there we have it. We've just took a signature functionality from a power app through Power Automate Flow into the SharePoint list as an attachment. Uh, I hope this video helps. Please like and subscribe to the channel and take care. Thanks.